Thank you for choosing the iSpring Reverse Osmosis System. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide you with clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we begin, please make sure your water pressure is 45 PSI or above. Otherwise, an addition of a booster pump is recommended. If your water pressure is higher than 70 PSI, a pressure regulator may be needed. This product is designed for residential use only. The system operating temperature range is 40 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system requires drilling a quarter inch hole into the under sink drain pipe for wastewater. The system may require drilling a hole into the sink or countertop for faucet installation. Carefully read the attention and warning notice on the system packaging and the user information section of the user manual. Check that all parts were included in the package and have all the required tools ready. Installation, feed water adapter. The iSpring RCC series RO systems are designed for under sink water use. Please clean out the space under the sink before installation. The feed water adapter fits standard half inch and 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, you will need a converter. Step one, turn off the cold water supply valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain any air and water in the connector hose. Step two, unscrew the faucet connector hose. Be prepared to catch any excess water from the hose with a towel. Step three, Ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Step 4. Reinstall the faucet connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step 5. Turn the feed water valve to the off position. Insert the red tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting, then insert a C-clip to lock the tubing in place. Measure and cut the tube. Installation, drain saddle. Step one, choose a spot on the drain pipe that is convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Step two, drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the seal pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step three, cut the end of the black tubing tip at a 45 degree angle. Insert the tubing through the drain saddle into the drain pipe. Step four, install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to make sure it is secure. Installation. RO Drinking Faucet. Option 1. Bottom Mount Kit. Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the drinking faucet. If your kitchen sink does not have a pre-existing hole, you will need to drill a hole half an inch to one and a half inch diameter. Step 1. Clean and dry the sink hole area. Step 2. Insert the front plate and then the rubber washer into the faucet base. Step three, insert the faucet into the sink hole. Step four, from under the sink, insert the rubber washer followed by the wing nut into the faucet stem. Tighten the wing nut to secure the faucet. Step five, insert the blue tubing into the quick connect fitting half inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step six, connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure that you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation, RO drinking faucet. Option two, top mount kit. A top mount installation kit allows for the installation of a standard drinking faucet on the countertop without the need to reach under the sink. It is designed to save time and hassle. Please note that the top mount kit requires a three quarter inch to one and one quarter inch faucet hole. Step one, clean and dry the area. Step two, insert the front plate, the rubber washer, and the top mount plate with the rubber side up into the faucet base. Step three, install the metal nut to the faucet stem below the plate. Step four, 
Insert the blue tubing into the quick connect fitting half an inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step 5. Connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Step 6. Lift and tilt the plate. Insert tubing along with the fitting, faucet stem, and plate into the hole. Let go of the plate. It will drop and latch onto the metal nut via the triangular grooves on both sides. Step 7. Lift the faucet body to secure the plate and nut. Tighten the faucet by turning it clockwise. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure that you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation RO Drinking Faucet Option 3. Faucet Bracket A faucet bracket is used when the faucet cannot be installed on the sink or countertop and needs to be installed on a wall or a door. To install the bracket, first find the desired location. Then, mark the three mounting screw positions with the bracket on the wall surface. Pre-drill the marked holes with a smaller drill bit, followed by installing the bracket to the surface with mounting screws. Please note the bracket fits quarter-inch or smaller screws, and a screw anchor is recommended if installing it on a drywall. Ensure the bracket is steady and install the faucet to the bracket, followed by the faucet installation instructions. Installation Water Storage Tank Step 1. Screw the tank valve to the water storage tank. Ensure the O-ring is seated correctly inside the tank valve to prevent leaks. Step 2. Insert the yellow tubing half an inch deep into the tank valve. Insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Ensure the tank valve is in the closed position. Installation Reverse Osmosis Membrane Step 1. Disconnect the quick connect fitting on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. All systems have been tested with pressurized water flow to ensure build quality before being packed. It is normal to see a little water residue remaining in the membrane housing. Step 2. Unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing and make sure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step 3. Check that the membrane housing o-ring and housing cap o-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step 4. Connect the push fitting back to the membrane housing cap. Pre-filter wash. Filters posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize the system performance. Step 1. Unscrew stage 1, 2, and 3 filter housings. Take out and unwrap all the filters. Step 2. Insert the filters back into their housing and ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 3. Twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench. Tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten, as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step 4. Remove C-clip and insert the red tubing from the feed water adapter to the system water inlet fitting. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the C-clip. Step 5. Remove the C-clip and remove the red tubing from the pre-filter water outlet. Insert the black tubing from the drain saddle to the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Ensure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings to prevent leaks. Step 6. Turn on the cold water supply valve and slowly turn on the feed water valve. Let the water fill and flush the pre-filters for at least 5 minutes. Check and ensure that no leaks occur. Step 7. Shut off the feed water valve. The pre-filter wash is now complete. Installation. Leak Stop Valve 
RCC series comes with a leak stop valve that can automatically shut off the inlet water from entering the water system when it detects a leak, effectively protecting your home from water damage. The valve is highly sensitive to water. Install it with extra caution as the leak stop pad inside the valve will easily absorb water and expand. Thus, it will need to be replaced every time it contacts with water. Step 1. Find a dry and flat spot under the sink close to the system to place the leak stop valve. Step 2. Measure and cut the red tubing. Connect the red tubing from the feed water valve to the leak stop valve's inlet port. Step 3. Connect the remaining red tubing from the system inlet to the leak stop valve's outlet port. Please ensure all tubes are inserted half an inch deep into the fittings. System Installation Step 1. Remove the black tubing from the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Be prepared to catch the excess water from the connection with a towel. Step 2. Remove the C-clip on the wastewater port. Connect the black tubing from the drain saddle to the system wastewater port. Insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step 3. Connect the red tubing back to the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step 4. Connect the blue tubing from the drinking faucet to the final stage of your system. The final stage filter will be a post-carbon filter if you have a five-stage system, an alkaline filter, a deionization filter, or a UV filter if you have a six or seven-stage system. Insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step 5. Connect the yellow tubing from the water storage tank valve to the post-carbon filter's T-fitting. Insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. System Startup Step 1. Ensure the tank valve is in the closed position. Turn on the feed water valve and check the connections for any leaks. Turn off the feed water valve and fix any leaks before moving on to the next step. Step 2. Turn on the drinking faucet to purge out all the air. The water will start to trickle within a few minutes. Step 3. Let the water trickle for at least 10 minutes to drain any residual materials from the membrane and filters. Step 4. Shut off the drinking faucet and turn on the tank valve. The water storage tank will now fill up. The water storage tank usually takes one to two hours to fill, depending on your water pressure and temperature. Step five, do not use the first tank of water after it is full. We recommend draining out the tank twice before drinking any water. Turn on the drinking faucet to drain out the tank completely. When the tank is completely drained, the stream of water will slow to a trickle. Step six, Shut off the drinking faucet to allow the tank to fill again for another one to two hours. Step seven, turn on the drinking faucet to completely drain the tank again. Step eight, shut off the drinking faucet to allow the tank to fill again. Once the tank is full, your system is ready for use. Congratulations! Your iSpring reverse osmosis system installation is now complete. You can now enjoy clean and refreshing water from home. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you.